Hi. Hi guys and welcome back. I wasn't going to do this video, but it's kind of impromptu given that I keep getting a lot of comments on my previous videos that I've made of people asking me, do another cuckold video. Do another cuckold video. Give us a point. Are you going to give us another cuckold video? I'm like, y'all. I think I've ran out of things to talk about as it relates to cuckold. But I will actually read some of these comments that have been left on my previous videos. By the way, I don't know what is it with Coco, you guys. What is you guys' fascination with Coco? And I am sipping. I don't know. What is y'all fascination with Coco? So, since I made my very first Coco video, when was it? Let's see. When was it? Let's go all the way back. Oh, hold on. What did I do? Oh, gosh. What did I do? Let me go to my channel. Hey, guys. Welcome back. This was, oh, this was June 11, 2019. So, how many videos? I made 11 Coco related videos since then that video this is my very first coco video it went viral so it's at like 28k right now i think i already i think did i read the comments of that one i can't remember which video i actually read comments to because i made several let me see I know I did go live and I read comments on I think, one of these videos before. Let's see. And I've gotten so many more comments since then. I'm gonna I'm gonna react to you guys' comment on this live video. <sighs> Hello. Hold on, let me let me pause. <laughs> so you guys here or on this side. Let me pause it. This is my very first one, June 11, 2019. I was in LA at this time. I'm a man that enjoys being submissive to a strong woman. Being cuckold is a way of life to me. My woman is open and loves being able to control me totally. This was left a week ago. And this same guy also said, I'm from Florida. I'm open to talking to you if you like. Yo, know, people be hitting me in my inbox just like, oh, what's up? Can we exchange information? Can I get to know you? I'm just like, honestly, I already said this before in previous videos, right? As when I was talking about, will I get involved in a couple relationship? And I'm like, to be quite honest, I can talk about any topic. Because I'm pretty much open like that. I'm flexible when it comes to my interests in different things. and I'll, Especially alternative sexual lifestyles. But, will I see myself as a co-coldress? No. I've said this over and over again. No. <laughs> No, no, no. But will I do polyandry? Yes. So I think there is a difference here. Like, don't get me wrong. I like black people and all that. And I'm into hot wifing. Hold on. I got to Google what that is. What is, what is hot wifing? What is hot wifing? A hot wife is a married woman who has a sexual relationship outside of her marriage. Okay. With the full knowledge and consent of her husband. Pretty much a co-holders, but it's a different term. I guess they use for it. I like hot wife better than co-holders. Because co like they say, it derived from the word kaku, which is basically a bird. That lays its eggs in another bird's nest. And it has like a derogatory association with it. 
with cuckoo, cuckoo. I think I prefer hot wife. Hot wife. Who, who came up with this hot wife thing? Is the wife sharing arrangement or act of carrying out such affairs? Okay. And I would love to see my wife with a black guy. This, okay. But Russian and Italian girls prefer black men. I think you got something wrong there. Especially Russian girls. They usually tend to Slavic men in general. And for Italian girls, I feel like they also. So I think when I did make a reference saying like how. I don't know which video it was. Probably why people prefer BBC. But I think I did talk about like how white or non-black women, let's say. So that's like a really broad category when we talk about non-black women. They do like black men. It's just, it is what it is. I think if black men were not economically disadvantaged, like politically, economically, socially, right? When it comes to the totem pole of our social structure and white women or non-black women could choose, I would say, yeah. You will see a lot more non-black women with black men. But it makes sense, right? Because it's like you can you can be with a person. You can choose a certain partner based on other factors, right? Okay, because they make more money or they have higher political status or social status in society. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that's your top, that's, that's your preference. Like you would, in, in a perfect world, right, where things were equal, that you would make that choice. You just made that choice given your social context. So there is a difference. Let's let's clarify that, okay? And of course, it could just be my own full black bias. <laughs> my desire is to bring the most out of a great experience. Nothing like good loving from a great lover. I know, right? Speaking of that, y'all, it's been a minute since I... <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but it's been a minute since I had some, for real. It's been a minute. It's probably going to be a love, another minute. This piece of my candle, my homemade candle that I made. But it's probably going to be a whole nother minute, too. Because I'm just abstinent. During my postgraduate MSc at King's College of London, that's a really reputable school. I actually was looking to go there. I think it was at King's College. It was one of those schools in London. I was going to do my PhD out there. And instead, I decided to go to Los Angeles, California. The topic of race and uh, penal limbs was brought up. And the first studies into this allowed the subjects to measure and report limbs. Oh, okay. I, I know what he boxes. So I think I read this comment. I don't read all comments, but... Because, like, so many be com comments be coming in on different videos. And granted, I have, I think, over a thousand videos on YouTube. So, random comments be popping up. But, obviously, a little value, as we know some chaps like to exaggerate. We Some chaps. That's how you know he's not from the U.S. We were told that one of the lecturers had actually done a scientific study published in the journal of BJU International, Dr. David Veal, he dispelled a lot of the fallacies and urban myths surrounding this. Whatever, because even research, no matter how objective they claim it to be, it's still biased. Every researcher has an agenda, and it's hard to separate that agenda from objectivity. So let's just keep it real. Okay. Where we at? You were a long comment. Including the fact race has no bearing on size. The size of a man's extremities, hands, feet has nothing to do with size either. I don't know. I think there's a correlation, right? So we know you want to bring our research. Let's speak in terms of research. We know according to research, like just because you see a correlation between, let's say, two variables, right? Race and penis length doesn't mean one causes the other doesn't mean that being black makes you have a big dick and that's the first time i use a cuss word so youtube don't try me like that what's up William? where are you watching from where i y'all know i like to 
to interact. So feel free to comment. Feel free to leave your thoughts below, questions, whatever, because I like to interact with people. But there is, I think, something to be said about a correlation when you see that there's a relationship between two factors, right? You can't just throw that relationship away. And we know <laughs> there is a prevalence of large size penises in a certain within a certain race. Like, come on. Don't do that. But it's funny though that it's called the attribution theory or era where people tend to attribute positive characteristics. Like when it's something that relates to themselves, they easily quickly claim those positive attributes, right? But let's say they make a mistake, they attribute their mistake to external factors. You see how like you see how that works? People don't even realize they're making bias. You know, Austin, Texas, you checking in? Okay, okay. How is it out there in Austin? I've never been to Texas. I think the average size went European, Caucasian. Okay, oh, okay, here you go. You're trying to put in order now. Like, oh, like, it makes sense, right? This order, he has, like, this hierarchy of penis size, I guess according to Dr. David Ville's research, but he goes, I think the average size went, he mentioned first European Caucasian, then Sub-Saharan Africans, then South Americans. You're biased. See, I will admit I'm biased. I will admit my biases. Not sure where the rest fitted in, but I remember Far Eastern Asians came last. Oh, they would come last, right? Going along with the stereotype, but you had to reverse the first two. Interesting video and topic. I first heard about cuckolding when I studied Jeffrey Chaucer's Canterbury Tales at school. The Miller's Tale think they were they were wrote in the late 14th century. Anyway, I'll watch the rest of your videos. I agree with you <laughs> quite a lot of your views in this one. Because guess what? My views, I can back up Mr. Alfie North. Oh, that's not your real name, but that's your YouTube handle. Okay? Hello, I'm a black man who's into cuckolding. Good video on an interesting topic. I'm glad she brought up the fact that... See how they do? Okay. You were speaking to me, right? Or I guess you were just speaking in general. I'm glad she brought the fact that not all black men are larger. Of course, no, it's not when we, we can't really say everybody fits in the category, right? But generally speaking, right, we're speaking generalities here. Some guys are small or average as far as the cook holding topic. While many white women find me a ooh, we be getting toasty up in here. I gotta, I gotta turn on the AC. I'm getting toasty. Make sure I put this on 68, even though it's cold outside. I just, I like the cold though. Um, while many white women find me attractive, I have never been approached about being with someone's wife. Nor do I know any black men. Oh, baby. See, y'all just being y'all, y'all little, um, Y'all little corners. Y'all don't get out, you know. Me, I be talking to all kind of people. So when you expose yourself to different types of people, different social groups, with people with different interests, you're not close to things like that, then you will see that the world is much bigger than what you think it is. I mean, it's a small place, but it is a big place too. It's very diverse. That's what I'm saying. He said he ain't never had somebody come up to him and be like, I, I want you to fuck my... But it happens. It happens very frequently. Um, and he said he don't know a black man who has. I think it's something very rare. It's something that few people who would be interested in trying would actually bring up to their... To their part. Damn, this motherfucker wrote an essay. Yo, this is a whole essay, yo. Oh, shoot. Okay. Bring them to their partners. Should I read all? He wrote, uh, like, he wrote, what, one, two, three, four, five paragraphs, y'all. That's good. I guess my topics be stimulating. 
conversation, but come on, yo. Five paragraphs on this. Yo. Most couples looking for a bull do so online or they're swingers. I might read this whole thing because he's like, he might have a little bit to say here. Also, the average black man is not attractive to the average white woman. There goes his bias. Just say he's not attracted to you. Like, you're not attracted to black men. Don't say the average. You don't know. Did you do a survey? Do you know what white women like? White women will tell you. White women just be with black men. We with their own kind, they date within their race because it's convenient. Makes sense, right? What if they can have it really their way? <laughs> Further limiting opportunities and most white women stick with white men. Duh, most people date their own kind. That's just evolution. That goes without saying. Most people date their own kind. Often, if they find other groups of men attractive, but many people aren't exclusively attracted to people of their own race. What the hell is he? Okay, I don't, I'm not about to read no more because he contradicted himself. He just contradicted himself. I think you make really good points, and I agree. I can see why women would be sexually attracted to black men for all the positive reasons you laid out. And as a half Mexican, half white guy, I ain't even mad. You don't need to get mad, bro. At least you honest. I get it. Unfortunately, I think the idea of the bull for some people takes on racist overtones that go back to the idea of the ultimate forbidden fruit. Oh, I, th I think I did. I think I remember this now. So I'm definitely not going to read the comments. I think I, I think I remember. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next. This is, my very, this is my very first video. These are the comments that were left on my very first cuckold video. And I did make a playlist so you guys can easily find it when you go to my YouTube channel at Danny's World. Danny's World. Or you can just type in the link for YouTube.com. Author D. Leach. Yeah, that's my first initial, my last name. I still have Slave Master's last name, by the way. I want to change it, and of course, when I get married, it will change, but, yeah. Leach is my last name, L-E-A-C-H. All right, so let me go to the next. Actually, I'm going to skip a little bit. I'm going to skip probably down to the video title, Would I Date a Cuckold? And I'm going to read some of these comments. Because the only reason why, and this is what... Because it has been... I mean, this is my, this is my, oh, six one. And so what I wanted to do is make yeah, this, this is my six. show you the results that I've gotten. Nobody want to hear that. Chill out. We're going to skip down to the sixth video in this uh, playlist because I think the other ones, I believe I already read those comments in another video. Because when I got to New York, I made a video titled Black Men Who Enjoy Being a Bull in Cocoa Relationships. And that, I'm gonna click on that one. And that video, yeah, it went viral. It got a lot of um, hits on that too. And in that video, I think I was reading comments. So I'll just skip down to this sixth one. Would I Jada Coco? That's the title of this video. And I'm gonna read the comments. I think some of these comments I overlooked. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is the one. I told you guys a story. You guys gotta watch it because I don't want to spill the beans, but I did tell a story in this video. People were responding to the story I shared, and I was trying to answer the question of what I did a cuckold in my story. You guys know I'm a writer, I'm an author, so I tell stories. Real stories. I like to write nonfiction, okay? But I'll dibble a little, I'll dibble and dabble a little bit with fiction too. <laughs> So somebody said, LOL, all capital letters. That was the funniest story I've ever heard. I am dead right now, yo. He says, suit and tie bro is putting in 12-hour days at the office, smiling while he thinks about providing for the household. Meanwhile, the divorce bro kicks it with his girl on the couch, scrambled eggs, tea... <sighs> Yeah, that, that's the dream right there. That's why I say I will completely do polyandry, right? And I think, I think I'm in the process of building that. 
I think it's a little bit more difficult than what I thought it would be. And polyandry, for you guys who don't know, is basically when a woman has multiple husbands. So, I think I can handle that. It's just, people thinking outside the box. That's just really what it is. Men. Because men, they know they want it. They know they want to be in a polygamous relationship where there's multiple men and one woman. And we're talking about serious. We ain't talking about just sitting around here having casual sex with anybody that signed up for that, by the way. And I would like, speaking of, wouldn't it be nice to have, like, a space? Not just a virtual, a virtual space, too. Yes, that's important, I think. And that's why, I guess, we can create Facebook groups, private Facebook groups. But sometimes they get infiltrated, too. And you got trolls and people. Like, I don't like that. I hate, like, I get a lot of good comments on my videos, but... I don't like when people come onto my videos and they trolling. It's like, why are you here? Like the video I made talking about the dream I have my dad. I'm not going to get into that. Y'all can go watch that video. But people just hating. And it's just like, ugh. Y'all working my nerves. Like, go somewhere. Bye. Why are you here if you don't like something, right? Why are you here? Why don't you go to where you like the things, right? To places where you can be entertained and you like the content. If you don't like what I'm saying, do you have to watch my video number one and comment and say, ew, it's disgusting, and then cast all kinds of judgment. I feel like people like that are confused. They like it. Because if you do not like it, or at least be curious about it, or interested in it to a certain extent, you wouldn't watch it. Those people don't even know themselves. Know thyself first before you cast judgment. Because it really makes no sense at all to be around anything, energy, people, whatever, that doesn't benefit you at all. Why? I just had to, I had to, I had to say that. You feel me? You feel me, Olu? How do you pronounce your name? I don't want to fuck it up. Olu, Olu Fime. Olu Fime, you feel me? Like this, is that, isn't that annoying? Where, where are you from, by the way? Olu Joby. Olu Joby. See, that's the thing about African names. They're so, like, intricate. You gotta, like, slow down when you speak. You gotta break that junk down and, like, you really gotta move your mouth, like, <laughs> to, pronounce, to pronounce it correctly. But, yeah, I had to say that because it's just... And I'm not really bothered necessarily just because a person has an opposing viewpoint. Because I know we all do. And I value mine. I really do value my, my opinions. And I know myself. And I love myself. So it's just like, I can care less if you have an opposing viewpoint. But it's just like, why waste space? Why waste my time? Like, you're going to get blocked. Women in the adult industry seem to be in this type of relationship dynamic. She will provide resources in return for his monogamy to her. Sounds fair to a degree. What? Say more. Sometimes I guess two lines isn't enough. I see where a dude wrote that whole last long thing, but he was just still contradicting himself, even though he wrote, you are not in no freaking New York. Are you on YouTube? Yes, I'm reading YouTube comments now that have been left on my YouTube videos. I create a whole series called Coco, so that's what I'm doing in this video. I'm actually <laughs> responding to or reacting to these comments left on my video. You're in New York. What you doing in New York? I know I'd be like, I know I type fast and stuff, and we all make typos, and sometimes we be typing, like we be drunk texting, so I get it. Sometimes, you know, some letters get left out, but come on, like, please read what you write. 
before you click post. And if you post it, read it again, okay? This dude says, you are a queen. Men should know FH1 queen. I don't know what the fuck that is. Word to mother. <laughs> Word to my mother. <laughs> okay, that's a New York lingo right there. Word to my mother. Dead ass. <laughs> How long you been in New York though? Okay, what part are you from? I gotta check out your profile. Somebody talking about you messy. No, I'm not. I like to have fun. Come on. There's another long ass essay. Gotta admit, you got me in the first half, queen. You're an excellent storyteller, but okay. But if we're taking your polyandrous ambitions into consideration, some overlap could be made with guys' cuckold desires. See? That's the whole reason why I embedded that into the video on what I date a cuckold. Because I know there's overlap. And I know men who enjoy cuckolding would most likely be the men who are open to polyandry. Polyandry. Not polygyny. Because polygyny is where a man has multiple wives. But polyandry is where the woman has multiple husbands in a committed relationship. And we're all together. Like, we know each other. There's nothing secretive about it. Um, he got a point. That's the reason why I did that. I'm very strategic in my videos, by the way. I don't just be, like, making random stuff. I think before I do this. He said, you can have two spouses, one with slightly cuckoldish role of being primary earner and provider being involved emotionally, sharing household chores, being father to children, and being an intimate, nice guy lover, whereas the other guy could be the one with more strength, dominance, and aggression, bringing in a more bad boy dynamic. Oh. See, look at him. He, like, created this whole scenario. I already got it figured out, y'all. But thank you for the suggestion. What's my page on YouTube? It's posted on my Facebook page. Just Danny's World. I don't like to, I don't really promote it because I feel like I get subscribers, like they just pop up because of my videos that have gone viral. So people will subscribe to a video that already has like over 10K or 20K or 30 or 40K views on it. They just feel like, okay, this is a person that apparently I need to watch because everybody else is watching it. So, I definitely have, I think, a stronger following on YouTube. But, I know I have a good following on Facebook, too. But, when it comes to the video aspect of it, I think more people watch my YouTube videos than my Facebook videos. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly looking at this live. <laughs> um, I think it's just the YouTube algorithm, too. Because, the way YouTube algorithm works is that it's wide open. Everybody pretty much can see your video. But Facebook is, I think, a bit more limited. Plus, you got to be logged into Facebook to see videos. Whereas YouTube, you don't got to be logged in. Anybody can just go to YouTube and watch videos freely. But the YouTube, the videos that I mark for adult, as adult content, which are like, <laughs> probably 95% of my videos on YouTube are adult content. So, I make it clear, like, no, this is not for kids. You got to be logged in to see this. Yeah. So, where am I? Whereas the other guy, okay. Bringing in a more bad boy dynamic providing seed for stronger children and maybe being more of an on-off guy figure when it came to the daily family. Yeah, I like that idea. I see a lot. I see a lot of people, a lot of other people like it too. So he got a lot of thumbs up for his um, comment. I see a lot of white men talking about being in a submissive cocoa lifestyle to the point of raising a black man's baby. If they put their money in action where their mouth is, you could actually have multiple candidates to choose from. Oh, I know I do. It's just about me devoting attention and effort and time to it. Most of my time I devote to my career that I'm building, right? That's my priority. And so whatever else time I have left, then it goes to that. 
but somebody replied, seems like that kind of thing is definitely happening more and more. Oh, yeah. See, people like alternative stuff. That's the thing. People like different. This is the type of relationship my wife and I are in. I'm Hispanic. She's a beautiful, strong black woman. I love her and she loves me. I'll work and take care of her and provide and emotionally am there for her. But I, the bedroom, I like, okay, but in the bedroom, I lack a lot in size. So I can't perform in the bedroom. I just rap. I got much respect for men who are just like, it's, it's like they are so content who they are. And they have a very well-developed ego that they can just be honest. Like this guy here. He's like, you know what? I like a lot inside. So I don't really perform. I don't really compare, you right? He's like, I don't perform that well in the bedroom. I really don't compare. I don't measure up to like, you know, men who are more well-endowed and know how to rock the boat. He's honest. I like that. Just, just. He got to be older, though. I think it's like, I just think maturity comes with age, you know, for the most part. There's a, there we go with the correlations, right? It's a correlation between age and maturity. And I say this because, you know, I got a lot of young guys who trying to hit on me. And I was just like, mm, mm Me and my wife came to an understanding that I will be okay with her being pleased by other men as long as it only stays sexual. That was basically it. Yes, the man she tends to choose are black men. Ooh, that's interesting. And they, and he said he's talking about his wife. This is a married man here. You like the combo? Let me know what you think about this kind of dynamic of a relationship. But this is a married man. There's so many married men. I see stuff like being open minded in relationships. It strengthens the relationship and it keeps the fire burning. I gotta get all that rigid thinking. Stop the rigid thinking. It's been some time that we've been in this type of relationship. We even have two kids as well. As you may be guessed, the kids aren't mine, but I fathered them and I raised them and they are legally mine. We are a happy and loving family. Wow, that's super hot. I mean, Somebody replied to his comment and said, wow, that's super hot. I mean, I assume you enjoy it on some level. Do you ever get to watch them? See, this is a comment I'll be missing because sometimes YouTube does not notify me when people reply to comments that have been left on my videos. I miss a lot of comments, though, because I'm relatively busy. So, the guy who said that he allows his wife to have sex with black men, he, he replied, he said, of course, I do enjoy it, but it makes me happier that my wife is fully pleased, and I've only ever watched a few times. I like to get her privacy as well. I'm like, yo, is this real? Is this real, or are you just saying that because... <laughs> Trying to, I feel like sometimes people do be commenting and saying things that they think that might be appealing to me. Mm -hmm. Bless you, brother. You are the true trendsetter for what will be the postmodern family dynamic. This way we could see society raising the seeds of strong men, but with the care of a more emotionally available father. I don't know what's the point to give my girl to another man. Sexual encounter, this is a different person, by the way. Um, sexual encounter, give emotions, and emotions is the road to love. Woman's, this, I'm reading directly how he wrote it. He said, women's are very sensitive. He gotta be, um, he's from the Caribbean. Women's are very sensitive, so that will just lead her to don't love me that much after a time and many encounters with lovers damn you run a lot yeah i can't and what hold on where are we at with time yo i can't i'm not about to 34 i didn't want to make this video under an hour yo come on how are we writing so much they be giving so much y'all he said 
she will give less and less focus, respect, love. So after a time, she will see me as <laughs> a wuss. I don't know. He might not be careful in using the word wuss. Wuss? Wuss? No respect for me as a man. She will get more and more. He cannot be from America because his grammar is just. She will get more and more in dating with others. And I, he spelled others with the A. Others. And I supposed to be hate from that? Other man. Yo, I'm curious. Where are you from? Hold on. Where are you? King of Kings 89 PL. Other men destroy, destroying my relationship are not a savers. They're not savers. Because I think people have also commented saying that it's like it saves, it helps help save the relationship. He said, they just want to have a fun and sexual encounter and they don't care about me. And that kind of stuff will lead in time to the point where a woman don't care about her man. Because too many signals, emotions from outside the relationship. Love is very sensitive but weak. Lying and you need to protect it. I'm trying to like piece together his stuff because it's like misspelled words and stuff. He said, um, care for it and make it active and growing over and over again. And letting a woman to have sexual contact with other men or date them will successively distract her from a love you try to care. He got a point. Sounds like a man who needs a lot of attention. It would not be a gift for her or you together. It would... Be simply put, a disaster for love and relationship. He basically stand up, bit, oh, being open to the cuckold lifestyle as him being the cuckold in their relationship and allowing his wife or female partner to explore and have sex with the man. He's like, that's going to mess up the relationship. That's going to really mess up the love that they have, the bond that they share, right? Because she might eventually grow feelings for that man. And I've gotten that too a lot where people have commented and said, well, what if she starts to get feelings for the guy? How is that going to impact the relationship dynamic between her and her partner? And that can be very well true. That's a good point. What do y'all think? That, that can be true. Why men think it's very sexual game, this cuckold? It's about nature. When other men show up, Mother Nature started in man body something called sperm war. And it's for you to be more ambitious and getting more to your relationship and love with your woman because you have a competition in for other men or mans. But you as a man feeling sexual because of it as a mother nature trick for you to care about man. But that's a red alert for you. It's not a game or fun stuff. Almost Always for a woman, this will be a game changer and turning point in your relationship where you not going to be as a man in her eyes as you was before. Cut cold. Dang. He says some stuff right there. Hmm. He got, damn, he got nine replies. Let's see what people said to his comment. <laughs> what race are you? Cuckolding is a white and Asian man thing. Black men are not naturally cuckolds. He replies, says, I'm proud white man. Men that will protect love and family that I want to build and will not let other men. Okay, so he he, he spelled other with the A. I don't, where do they do that at? What country do they do that? Where they spell other with the A. He's clearly not American. Man to share emotions with my woman. Sure, emotionally, but you can't provide the same sexual pleasure and dominant alpha energy to a woman that a black man can. Jabs. My wife doesn't really prefer a black man. She has to have emotional attachment, so I'm glad that I can give that to her. How do you really know? Because she tells me, and she would try one if she did. I completely agree. That's one thing I like about my channel, because, I, like I said, I guess I'm transparent, and I like to talk about alternative relationships and lifestyles very freely. And uninhibitedly. So, 
I think people come and either they're naturally that way or they feel inspired and they feel safe and comfortable to just be themselves. Yo, be yourself. Because they be really like, they be going in. But in the bedroom, a black man definitely brings a different level of sexual energy and alpha. Absolutely. Some racist guys hate it, but it's the obvious truth and should be embraced. I get it. I get it too, baby. Let's see. Let's go to another one. This is when I made an impromptu cuckold Q&A. I ain't even planning to do this. This is over the summer of this year, actually. The title of this video is called Impromptu Cuckold Q&A. There's not that many comments on this one. Oh, yeah, somebody actually asked me a uh, suggestion for a new video topic. He says, white people's infatuation with BBC. <laughs> Idea for a new video. I like when you guys give me video topic suggestions too. The Johnny. <laughs> Happy new month of December. Thank you to my future wife. Where are you from? I got a lot of internet husbands. I have a lot of internet husbands. Y'all don't mind being one of many internet husbands? Okay, let's go to the next video. Cuckold safety tips is the next video in this cuckold series. Yo, my hair looking thrown back. My wife's boyfriend is quite a bit larger than me. My wife and I have found other ways to be intimate since she only likes sex with him now. Damn. I like that though. Gotta be creative, man. Life is not... Like, I feel like we be taking life so serious and we forget. Life is really short. Before you know it, your time here in this realm, done. Done, right? Yeah, you're going to go to a different dimension because we're spirit beings, right? And spirits never die. But while you are here, well, while we are here, it's like, why not, why not just live life? I really enjoy your videos. Keep up the good work. Oh, I love when you guys give me positive encouragement. Alright. It wasn't that many comments on that video. So this video, psychological effects of cuckolding on white men. Y'all love this one too. Let me see. I got oh, I got 31 comments on this one. Oh, I mentioned um, white privilege because somebody responded and says, we get nothing as white privilege. Our lives suck at times too. So, somebody replied to his comment and said, white privilege doesn't mean your life doesn't suck at times. Hello. <laughs> it just means that you have a degree of privilege that is attached to your race. I admit I have privilege, but it don't mean that my life don't suck. I have privilege in many different areas. I think being a smart person is a privilege because there are people who are intellectually disabled. You know, so just that's a privilege. Being beautiful is a privilege because not everybody is beautiful and there are certain benefits that come with being physically attractive okay you're in golden but you grew up in louisiana br louisiana what's br i need to get out more in the u.s huh yeah people agree with that that white privilege doesn't mean your life doesn't suck at times because it's just, it is what it is. 
Now you got people that be like comment on my videos in other languages. Seria maiz oh povitosos de boque or voce colocasi legendas mesmo em inglês para uma melhor compreensão de seu video. All right. Another person commented and says, do you do therapy? You are great at it. Or motivational coach. <laughs> well. Somebody else commented. It was hating. It was like, I'm going to get to that comment. It was hating though. Another great video. <laughs> what the fuck are men turning into? <laughs> okay. Listen, open your eyes. It's a whole world out there. Somebody said, cut coding has always existed. I got people that come on videos. I guess they're like they're regular fans or supporters of my channel. So they be like, they, they come to my recipe. I don't even got to argue. Like, when I make these um, alternative videos that go against the norm in our society, I have people, of course, that be commenting, they be trolling, so of course they're going to share their judgmental opinions, but then you have people that come to my rescue. Thank you guys. They come to my defense. I love you guys. So I don't even be having to go back, but even if I did, I would I don't go back and forth. Right? I'm not new at social media. I've been at this thing for a minute. Oh, Bay and Duh. Bay and Rouge. Duh, Danielle. Duh. You may take me to Angola with you. I heard that before. I mean, I had so many people tell me like, oh, I'm going to take you to Africa with me. I'm going to take you. I'm just like, mm-hmm. I ain't been to Africa yet. I ain't even left the U.S. I did get my passport, though, in 2019, February. I did that for myself. I got my passport for the first time. Very first time. And I plan to travel this year. But then the invisible monster happened. So those plans have been postponed to further notice. Can we get a video of white people's infatuation with BBC? Your wish is my command. I did it though. I did. I was like, what? I be looking for like video inspiration sometimes. Sometimes it just comes. I don't know where I be laying my bed and just ideas pop up. But then sometimes I'm like, I want to make a video. I feel like talking. My throat chakra is loosening but I'm like what what to talk about and then people comment and say please make a video on XYZ and I do it if I feel like motivated by it it's because this is in reply to this person who wanted me to make a video on white people's infatuation with BBC it's really fascinating and then somebody replies says it's because of the skin contrast and the image of their big okay He's getting to like the visual aspect, the visual contrast of the whiteness of a white woman's fragility <laughs> and a black man's masculinity being thrust into her power and exploding, exploding her wet spot. <laughs> That's just me out of but no, he said that it's because of the contrast and the image of their big clock when they have one pleasuring their wives. Many wives think like that. I love my girl and just want her to have the most pleasurable possible. Hopefully, she will want to meet up with a guy we have been talking to this weekend. It makes me a little nervous, but the risk is worth the reward. <laughs> you think? You think? The risk is. Hold on, this same person was the one that said some other shit in my video as if he was white. So y'all be trolling because they actually got a black. She got a uh, picture of a, like a black woman. But you come to white people's defense as if you white. Like, girl, what is you doing? What is you doing, Fred? I see you watching, yo. You just came in and just bounced on your girl. So. Wait, 
roll his eye. my girl and just want her to have the most pleasure possible blah 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 i hope she enjoys it enough to want a regular servicing from him he is much bigger than i am but that's by my choice i love watching a big black man please her or want to enjoy it i even want her to have a biracial baby to raise yeah there's this whole um call it fetish there's a whole fetish um with interracial breeding i think it's nice but that's just me i think i think breeding period is cool right but just creating something that kind of goes against uh, the status quo okay he is much bigger than i am but that's by my choice i love watching a big black man please her or want to enjoy it i even want her to have a biracial oh i said that okay um, people exchanging contact information all right somebody said bbc does not exist they are small boys Small spelled S M O L boy spelled B O I S. I don't know where he from. I don't know. Somebody gonna comment talking about very low self esteem. Hold on, what you talking about? I'm not talking about me, baby. What am I just talking about? Um, the psychological effects of white men being cuckolds. Okay. All right. Maybe. Maybe. You think it's low self esteem though that motivates? Nah, I don't think it's low self esteem. Could be. I mean, I am very well versed in the topic of cuckolding. So, if there is any questions you or anyone else has, hit me in the reply, and I will answer to the best of my ability. I am a cuckold, been one for over eight years. Will shed some light on anything I can help with. It's a provocative lifestyle, but it can be both enjoyable or very damaging to a relationship. I like that balance, that contrast, because I mean, you gotta like. Talk about the good and the bad. Nothing is all good. Nothing is all bad. It's just the reality of it. You have to approach the subject cautiously and with an open mind. I love allowing my girl to be with selective men. Yes, selective is a key word here. And it's nothing to do with them. So what is it to do with? Damn, you motherfucker wrote. Oh my gosh, yo. What is... They want a whole dissertation on my freaking... Okay, let's let's see what they said first. Nothing to do with them, but all about my love for her and not being selfish in terms of allowing her pleasure that is taboo to most. Even at times, for me, it's stressful and it causes a certain level of accepted painful jealousy that is an ugly feeling in the recess of your stomach when you realize how much more pleased she is with another man sexually. I have to accept. That from the start, that she will get sexual fulfillment from a man who can possibly and most likely physically please her. So I just saying the same thing. Okay. It's kind of being redundant. Then they go on talking about what? Okay, that's saw something about touching. Sexual leftovers. You love her and have to enjoy her. Enjoy her pleasure, and it will actually make you orgasm without touching her or yourself if you can mentally wrap your mind to a point of loving it and not allow the negative, ugly, consume your emotion. Okay, so just juxtaposing the good with the bad. Okay. I'm into that too, like mental stimulation, which is linked to physical stimulation. So if you know how to stimulate a person's mind, this is the stuff I'm into, right? 
Like, you can make a person orgasm without physically touching them. That's some deep stuff for you, though. Black uncle? This is the same comment. It's a long... Y'all can read this. Y'all go on my video and read the comments under the video titled The Psychological Effects of Cuckolding on White Men on YouTube. This person left a dissertation on my post. And it seems like it could be interesting, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to read the entire thing. But, hold on. What's this about black uncle? We want two more kids. I would love for one to be biracial and one to be mine raised together. Equally love and mom having special times with the black uncle. <laughs> Who comes over occasionally as I will be dad and be watching the kids while she gets more pleasure off by herself. Yeah, people, it's a whole nother world out there. <laughs> Somebody replied to her comment, said, or his comment, I don't know if that's a man or a woman because they look like you got a female as their profile. Said, you were horny when writing this, and most girls can't get off to big dick, so this is straight bullshit. <laughs> this small dick boy is in denial. <laughs> yeah, they be having me. They be tripping me off. In my opinion, as a white dude into this fetish, younger though, 27, he says, and have a healthy dating life, this guy is kind of downplaying the infatuation. White privilege is real. And the inferiority complex about social stereotypes regarding black men's sexual process ties into it. The fixation is on what we don't have, what we're scared of, but liking it. <laughs> I might say I agree with you. I'm digging this channel. Girl, got tang and honesty. I'm into the racial component of co-coding. It's usually been a white guy only once a black man. He was a baby daddy. Twelve. It's been the baby daddy. What? what? Twelve. Or twice. Okay, it's a typo. Twice has been the baby daddy. In both cases, they wouldn't pay us child support, though. He kind of gave up. What? Because they got pregnant. Another topic that I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> hey, babies come out of this. So that's the ninth. This is the ninth video in the series, and let's read the comments under the benefits of cuckoldry. And I'll end this video because I'm getting tired of reading out loud. All right. So this one is on the. This one is on the benefits of cuckoldry. Somebody said she slaps the small ones and makes them clean the big ones. Are you talking about like the aftermath of the explosion? <laughs> okay. I judge you and my verdict is you're guilty of being good people and I sent you to a conversation. Who really wanted to have a conversation? That's one thing I really have not done is I have not gone live and invited like other people in my life. I did it one time when I had an IG, a personal IG channel, but I ended up deleting it because y'all didn't really follow me over there anyway. You know, so that's the thing. Like when you already have like a platform, people used to come into like Facebook and then the other one is YouTube. I'm like, y'all follow me on IG, follow me on IG. And then not too many people really came over. So I was like, okay, what's the point? And I guess I was impatient too because I know it takes time to build a following. I know this. But I was just like, it's a waste of my time even making content for this if you guys aren't watching it on that IG channel. So I just came back over here on Facebook and then I went to YouTube and was over there. 
But I think I mentioned IG because if I was to invite other people into my lives, that's probably where I would do it. You know, because it seems like IG is just the better platform to do that on. Um, I would be open to it. I would even be open to like going live with someone together, like in person, right? So it's like I'm sitting here, they're sitting in my same space. It's, you know, we're in the same space, right? In person, live. And we're talking about these topics. I like stuff like that. Let's do it. Somebody say, I was a pet to my master. Oh. He passed away three months ago. Oh. Sorry, great job. If I don't pace myself and I just go full on right away, my inches <laughs> is gonna blow in 10 seconds or less somebody comment say you're strong i cry in the cold because i was just talking about coming back from being out there in the cold i think in this video but i do i love the cold just a little i like the hot i like the heat too but i like the cold somebody say women need more than one man man Men do not need more than one woman. Really enjoy your videos. Love your videos. I like how you talk real with people. Thank you for not putting on a front. Why the hell would anybody get in front of the camera and put on a front? Now, I may act a little special or extra, but that's me in real life. I feel like, actually, to be honest... This is me, but maybe a little bit toned down sometimes. Because in real life, I'm a whole character. It's like real life in terms of in relationships. <laughs> but you got to ask, you got to ask like one of my exes to really see what I mean by that. I'll give you a run for your money. Well, I will have your ass. Like I like people who have dated me. They never forget me. You just you just don't because I just leave that imprint. Cause I'm a, I'm like I feel like my relationships with like a guy is like it's intense. I can I can go there. I like to go there and make it intense in me. Like and I don't think I do it intentionally, but it's just like. How I am. No. Just wasting my time. I'm sitting out here looking at these um New York City taxis. They are, New York is just a whole character in and of itself. They yeah, I feel like they be doing too much out here. Is there any way I can ask questions with putting without putting my business out there for anyone else? Listen, yes, yes. So before I end this video, if you guys would like me to address anything and I do mean anything please feel free to email me contact me contacting me is not hard email it should be very easy to find if you try to find it through YouTube all you got to do is just go to my um, I think about tab I think that's what it's called on YouTube it's about and it has my email address Facebook same thing Click on the about tab. About. It has information about who I am. That's why I always like, I be scratching my head wondering like, I get messages from people, inbox messages. People are like, oh, can you tell me more about you? I'm so confused with those kind of questions. Because I'm like, I don't think who I am is a secret. <laughs> so what are you trying to know? I mean, what are you trying to do? I think what it is, is they just want to build connection. But don't ask me some shit that you can see on my page. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's right there in your face. <laughs> don't ask me that okay. now if you want to like really like engage in a conversation go ahead and just do it don't be like oh can I talk to you about something can I ask you something you just asked me something you just asked me like what sense does it make you ask me can you ask me a question but you just ask the question without permission so if you think oh I need to ask permission to ask a question but you just like, it makes no sense. Like, I always was confused by that. Like, I'm the kind of person, especially at 
my age, 37 years old, I'm straight to the punch. Just cut the small talk. Straight to the punch. So if you have a question, comment, whatever, jump right on in. Feel free. Just, just, just do it, you guys. <laughs> but y'all, I think y'all be just tiptoeing. And that tiptoeing, I don't like that. So I think in your mind, you're like, okay, let me tiptoe because I don't know, like, how she going to respond. I recognize that tiptoeing to me is like passiveness. Like, you, I don't like scared energy. That is like, it does something to me. I just like people who are, like, straight to the point. Cut to the chase. Say what's on your mind. Blah, blah, blah. It don't matter if it offends me or not. Why well, be that concerned about if something offends me? That's some punk ass shit. It's not about the sex. It's about the place. What? It's about the place. It's not about the sex. Hold on, what is he talking about? I guess as a one of the benefits of cook culture, he's saying it's not about the sex, it's about the place. Place as in location? Place. I don't know. You got to expound a little bit more. If you're watching this video, please elaborate. What do you mean by place? What do you mean, John? All right, and this is the last one. Oh, no, that was the last one. So how did... Yo, I didn't freaking misplace the video. It's really 10. Because I got to remove this. This one was actually... This ain't got no business being this playlist. I think I did it by accident. It was like my natural, organic, edge control video. That should not be here. That should be on my other freeform lock playlist. But having said that, that completes the end of this video video i'm interested in hearing your comments i already know y'all be coming y'all y'all be going in in the comment section i didn't read all the comments i read the ones that got a lot of replies and that came like to the top because usually like youtube just same as facebook they will like show like the most relevant comments in the beginning and then you gotta like keep scrolling all the way down and see like everybody else's stuff Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will definitely catch you guys later. I never know when I'm going to go live. I just kind of do an impromptu like this video, so catch you guys later. Bye.